Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Ever since the release of Pokemon Pearl on the Nintendo DS, I have considered myself a Pokemon master. In fact, I was too good at Pokemon that my parents decided uh, that they should outlaw it from the house because it's all I ever did. Can I blame them? No, I would also be scared of my raw power and potential. I mean, look at this binder that's holding my Pokemon cards. You would never even be able to tell that I was the one that drew the cover. I don't wanna get off topic or anything but it's got some old cards, some new cards, and then the page that I call the silly cards. <clears throat> okay, well, anyways, the reason I tell you this is because I never really played Generation 5, and I feel like that's kind of blasphemous because a lot of people say that this is their favorite generation of all time. I could Nuzlocke this game, but the steps to use the calculators and the documentation is a lot more scarce, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't going to be fun for me, right? However, I came up with a different idea. Because I still have the maturity level of a fifth grader, the only difference now being that I just make penis jokes on the internet, I figured, eh, let's just play the game like a normal person. <laughs> If you're wondering why the right side of the screen is green, well, you're already asking too many questions. Don't overthink it. Imagine playing as the boy in a Pokemon game. <laughs> Boring. New game, new character, new beginnings. I'm just kidding. I actually want to take advantage of the fact that this game lets me put little smiley faces in my name, so... So your name's Moist. Ugh. That's good to know. Hugh is such a stupid name. It needs to be something classy like Steven. Steven here. <sighs> Fresh air. A new beginning. I can't wait for my adventure to unfold in this, uh, what's the reason? The Unova region. Apparently there's someone that wants to meet me in town and give me a Pokemon. Not gonna complain. Oh, is that Steven? Hello, Steven. He really just can't believe that I'm getting gifted a Pokemon for free. You're too young to be talking to me like that. Steven buddies up with me as he wants to make sure that I don't lose my way there. Now, I know that this city is very large and it is quite easy to lose your sense of direction. However, I feel more than capable of walking like two blocks down the street. Welcome, welcome. I am the key bearer. The keys I shall grant you, then off I shall go. This process, it may appear odd, but fear not for it works. Okay, is, is that all? Nope. All right, thanks. Can you just let me pass? Yes, yes! I must Dude, ask I just want to play. I just want to play the game. You save your game. Fine. Okay, I saved Huzzah! it. And so I depart. Enjoy your new challenges. Oh! Steven tells me that Bianca is waiting for me ahead, so he decides to wait behind while I go and say hello to my friend. Just like my friends and I in real life, we exchange some back shots, and then we get down to business. She asks me if I want to complete the Pokedex. Can I go now? Okay. Bye. I wanted to try and come up with a more concise nicknaming theme throughout this run, so I decided first off that I'm gonna pick Snivy because it has contrary and that is broken. As far as nicknames go, I wanted to make each nickname a combination of two of my favorite things. Now for this first one, I decided, well, my favorite juice is orange juice and my favorite animated TV show is The Simpsons. So welcome to the team. OJ Simpson. Even Bianca agrees that it's a good nickname. And then of course, here comes Steven begging for his own Pokedex. Oh, are you two talk? You two are busy? Okay, I, I can go. I can leave you to it. Steven challenges me to a battle, but dude, it's level five starters. I just wrap him to death. Well, at least I'm free for now to go off on my own adventure. This random stranger decides to gift me a whole ass bicycle. Thanks, I guess. Oh, and there's just a whole ass Jirachi out here. What up, gang? I felt as if all of my wishes could come true. <gasps> like a genie? Final wish. One more genie BJ, please. Oh, please no. Making my way to the next town, I get called out by a weird looking trainer on top of a cliff. Fall. <laughs> you have passed the inspection. Follow me. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy in the next town over gives me an elemental monkey, which is incredibly useful. Oh, yeah, I need a nickname. Uh, my favorite letter of the alphabet is P, and my favorite character from uh, Mario Strikers Charged is Diddy Kong. 
Meet P. Diddy. This game does not enforce strict level caps, so I will be doing my best to adhere to them. However, if one of my guys is over leveled by a level or maybe two, then I really don't give a shit. No, no, my run is invalid. Oh my God, no. Now, I'm sure you guys already know why Contrary is such a good ability, but especially in this game, the AI doesn't seem to understand uh, what that even does and all of these early game trainers really like to boost my stats. After a few easy trainers, I finally make my way to fl flock is flocessi fl flocessi. I make my way to the ranch. Let me tell you, I am a sucker for slapping soundtracks. This shit goes hard. Oh, hey, Steven. <laughs> Steven. Of course, at this point in the game, this battle is not gonna be difficult. Because it's raining, my pen pour can just take out the tailo with a single water pulse, which leaves Steven with only one option, and that is to try and tickle me to death. Death you will achieve because you are only raising my stats. I wonder if this is gonna be a repeating theme through the run. After beating Steven, I get to make my way into the ranch, and for the first time ever in my life, I meet a woman who is offering me her egg. While I'm waiting for the egg to hatch, I decide to catch another Mon. In this case, I know that Riolu appears very early in this part of the game, so I decide to get one for myself. I, I, um, I, I, I don't have an explanation for this name. After walking around for a bit, my egg finally hatches. <laughs> There's no way. Sugma is childish. I would like to be a little more upfront. I found the farmer's lost dog, and he's hanging out with this futuristic looking pirate. Man, you, you ever heard of Team Plasma? No. Really? Meh. Escape plan. Hey yeah. <laughs> After my encounter with the pirate, the strange man that I met earlier on the cliff is inviting me into his house. This seems like a good idea. Should should I even ask why you have two kids alone in your house? After OJ Simpson manhandled these children, the strange man decides to release me in pursuit of getting my first gym badge. Hey, do I know you? Shut up, just take this. I'm really not surprised. Isn't this region based off of the United States? Hey, you really shouldn't talk to that guy. There, well, I'm off to go get a gym badge. Huh? <laughs> Bro, get your goofy ass off the cliff. You could have just given me these earlier when we were talking. You didn't have to make a whole ass WWE entrance. Believe it or not, I actually felt bad about not using Ladybug in my run and bun playthrough. Nah, I'm just fucking kidding. Who, what am I saying? Yeah, keep sleeping on this guy. Well, to get to the gym leader, we have to go through the trainer school part of it. Uh, the fucking audacity of you to show your face here. Um, she just leads with a Geo dude. Get him, OJ. Come with me into my bedroom. What, you want commentary over a grass type fighting a Geo dude and a nose pass? Fuck you. While Doc is my favorite character from the Pokemon franchise, in a close second place is now Clyde. He just gives me water. What a G. I don't think in any Pokemon game I've ever been intimidated by a normal type gym. After slapping around the two children that are protecting the gym badge, I finally get the opportunity to defeat Sharon. So I actually have a really interesting strategy to beat this fight. Uh, it took a little bit of planning, but here, I'll show you. So we just lead with our Riolu and we're actually just gonna hit him with a vacuum wave. Then we're gonna hit him with another vacuum wave. The pit of comes out and believe it or not, vacuum wave. Oh, oh, I didn't think about this. Oh, it's raising its stats. Oh no, vacuum wave. That'll teach you. Oh crap, vacuum wave. Yeah, see, it kind of sucks that Vacuum Wave is a special move because it just kind of tickles the Munchlax. Oh no, he's getting buff. I mean, realistically, all I got to do is swap over to OJ. I can hit him with a Leech Seed and I'm just going to keep hitting him with Leaf Tornadoes until he finally decides to kill my OJ. He's low enough HP though, so I'm going to just send in the Slugma to finish him off. Hey, th that's cheating. No items in battle, Sharon. Honestly, man, that's just so fucked up. You know what? Kill my slugma. I don't even care. Uh, Riolu, give this man a syrupy foot job. Little bitch. Wonder if I can... You know what? Never mind. I'm out of here. After getting my badge, there's a reunion of friends outside. And then we have a group FaceTime call? Yeah, this... 
This is incredibly uncomfortable. No one's moving. They're just blinking. The level cap is supposed to be level 20. I'm going to level up my guys to like level 17 or 18 because it's not too long of a path between here and Verbank. I think it's Verbank. Well, I'm on my way. What is that? Wood. The only thing I gotta do before I can get to Verbank is just take out a few small children. But of course, here comes Sharon once again trying to lecture me about something. Cool. Tall dark grass. So what? No way. Two Pokemon come out in the dark grass? Oh my god. What am I gonna do? Oh, I do appreciate the fishing rod though. Well, anyways, we made it to Verbank. Wait, I'm getting a call? Who's this? My mom! Upon arriving to Verbank, the first thing I see is the gym leader's father abandoning her in the streets. Oh my god, she's crashing out. Roxy, watch your fucking language! There are kids watching this! Just like a guy who got ghosted by the fifth girl this week, it looks like Roxy is now beginning her gym arc. Hey. Uh, hi? What, what do you want? Are you a sweaty, disgusting, sweaty piece of shit like me? Uh, yeah. Balls. Uh... Thanks, man. I should really stop talking to strangers. Yeah, I figured I'd run into you eventually. Bro, that color palette is fucking awful. You look stupid. I accidentally leveled up my Ledian too much, so I'm not gonna use it for the gym battle, but I figured it can teach Brawly a lesson. <clears throat> aerial Ace, Aerial Ace, Aerial Ace, Aerial Ace. Well fought, Brawly. Better luck next time. Ooh, an egg. Ooh. Never gonna complain about getting a Metacham. After all, pure power is pretty busted. Welcome to the squad. I discovered that in the house next to the gym, there's a clown who gives me a, one of the Gen 1 starters. Not gonna complain. Uh, I think Charmander would be kind of cool because apparently it's fire and dragon type in this game. And I will name him to honor you, French clown. Yeah, fire and dragon type and it gets defiant. Uh-huh. I wanted to get two encounters here. Uh, the first one was Magnemite because I thought he was pretty cool. I'm the guy. I wanted to get a Wooper, but I ended up finding a Ponyard and I thought he was kind of silly. Ah, uh, finally, I'm all alone in my bedrooms. I say to myself in my bedrooms at midnight. No, you are not alone in bedrooms at midnight, said Evil Knife Guy. At this point, I decided to see if I can get PK Hex to work and I did. I just decided to make all of my guys shiny. So now they look pretty cool, right? Uh, Ponyard, you're looking the wrong way, bro. Turn around and face the camera. Nah, right, whatever, it's gym time. But first I just go through the TMs that I've collected and wow, after playing Run and Bun, I'm starting to realize just how broken setup moves are and whatnot. Um, why does like everyone on my team get power up punch? It's a rock club. Oh, Roxy's practice. Oh, she's angsty right now. Uh oh. Wait, it's kind of a vibe. Hey, I know your dad abandoned you, but I'm here to kick your ass. All right, I guess I'm just gonna beat up your band members. Dude, psychic types are really strong. Like, look, kill yourself. There's no way a bald guy is talking to me with this much disrespect. Hey, I'm fucking Zubat. Meditate quick, hit him with the sissy fanboy hypnosis beam. Hey, I'm fucking Zubat. <laughs> I now like kissing boys. So, uh, you done practicing now? Oh, fuck. Roxy's whipping out the trubbish lead. Uh-oh, this thing's just gonna set up toxic spikes. Toxic spikes, I don't care. Hit him with the side beam. More toxic spikes, hit him with the side beam. Okay, cool, one more. Roxy, you cheating fuck. Ah, you're confused, idiot. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yeah! <laughs> fuck you. No, a coughing? <laughs> Roxy, you know this thing is four times weak to psychic moves, right? Oh, uh, fake out. Uh. Actually, thanks. You you act you really just healed me in the end. <laughs> Wood. Looks like we're turning up the heat. Meditate, finish the sweep. <laughs> oh fuck, it has a berry. And agility? Why would this thing just not have speed boost? I don't get it. Hold on, meditate! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not enough. Meditate, you gotta live the bug bite. You gotta live it. <laughs> it's all good. We got the guy. Bro, Magnet Bomb has gotta have the coolest sound effects. Oh. 
proof that I beat you. Hell yeah, new bat. Uh, I I don't know if I want to accept this from you. <laughs> Roxy, were you wearing this during the battle? Oh my god, dude! No way! I won the battle and now I'm famous. I'm gonna be an actor. Oh, yo, my bad. I'm late, bro. Yo, you're good, man. Don't, you don't need to apologize. Where, where you been? What's nah, up? I would have been here sooner, man. My dealer was just taking forever. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Is, that, is it cool? Yeah, man, you're fine. It's just been, it's just been kind of tough lately. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just, <laughs> I, I can't get her off my mind, man. Who? I didn't think you talked to women. Oh yeah, no, I'm terrified of women, but like, <sighs> she's different, bro. She, I, she's different. Well, what happened? Why are you so down on yourself? I don't. I just haven't seen her in so long, man. I don't even know if she remembers that I exist. Look, bro, man to man, I think you need to just move on and forget about her. She's not worth your time, dude. Like you're just wasting so much time and energy thinking about her 24 seven. <sighs> yeah. If you ask me, I think you should just keep hustling and grinding with what you're doing. Don't, don't you have a YouTube video to edit? Oh yeah, for sure. No, I'm working on that right now. I've just been addictively playing Clash Royale for the last couple days. Oh, you still play that game? What, uh, what deck you running? Deck? Oh, no, I just I just have the app installed so I can look at the Archer Queen's feet. Not gonna lie, man. I do the same thing. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. All right, well, I gotta go. I'll let you get back to editing. All right, man, take it easy. Thanks for being a homie. <clears throat> Anyways, after leveling up my team, I'm forced to help get rid of these pirates. Me. <laughs> Unluckily for them though, my guys are leveled up closer to the next gym's level cap. They got away, guys. What are we gonna do? Split up? Yeah, okay, good idea, Roxy. I'll go to why why is your why is your dad important here? Yeah, of course they make the emo girl give me the HM for cut. Criminal scum, you cannot escape me. Magnificent! We shall battle at once! Meet me in the city, fair traveler. Toodaloo! Huh? Look, I'll battle you. I really don't care, but like, you really can't be that strong. Wait, he's powerful enough to bring back Roxy's dad! All right, bring it on, bitch. You can't take me. Mm, but I can go snowbird. It, is this a joke? I'm afraid not, my friend. I'm dead serious. All right. Mm, what the fuck is that? What, my Lucario? Never mind. Unhand the. Oh, good heavens. Uh, go shelter. Look, we don't have to finish the battle if you don't want to. Nonsense! I still have a chance! Finish him off, Smoochum! You won't see this coming! Fake out! Ha <laughs> ha Oh no, you're going to kill my Smoochum! Ah, fooled again! <laughs> the focus sash! Okay, even I must admit this is looking a little troubling for me. Just send out your last mon. Ha <laughs> If you insist! However, I don't think you're ready! Get him, Cryogonal! God fucking damn it! <laughs> well, at least you two are getting a chance to finally talk. <laughs> you just get abandoned a second time? <laughs> wow, look at me. Just a small town girl finally gonna live out my dreams in the big city. Wow. Oh, I love the smell of piss and sewage. This really does feel like New York. I'm gonna do a little exploring. I find yet another French clown that wants to give me this time a generation two starter. Now, strangely enough, I would typically say that Chikorita is dog shit ass and should never be used ever. Uh, but in this game, it's a uh, grass and fairy. So eh, I'll give it a shot. Welcome friend. This guy wants me to fight his grandson. Uh. To thank me for beating his grandson's ass, the man gives me an egg. And by egg, let's just say, I mean, my paintus. Yo, what up, man? Cool boat. Oh, it's not that small, man. True, dude. The size of the ship doesn't matter. It's about the motion of the ocean. Whee! Hello, strange man, suspiciously standing guard in front of this tower. How are you doing? I have a powerful aura. No, I just haven't showered in three days. I should probably mention that this game wasn't hard enough, so I just put on challenge mode. So now the trainers have slightly higher levels and uh, actual move sets and strategies. Pretty cool. I really just want to take down the Bufalant first because I don't want to deal with head smashing every turn, but it's quite the combo because the Loudrit just wants to spam Boom Burst and the Bufalant has soundproof. That's unfortunate. Lucario comes in though, it's fine. Aurasphere is going to put the Bufalant in the dirt. Loudrit just goes for a water pulse on my pseudo-voodoo, which is fine. We're just gonna return the favor with a stone edge. 
Blossom comes in, but the Loudred's on one HP, so I'm just gonna hit him with a vacuum wave to finish him off, and then I'm going to fire punch the Blossom. But of course, I don't get away with this because the Blossom is gonna get off a stun spore. Don't care. Fuck you. Huge crit. I'm swapping Lucario out because he's pretty much useless when he's paralyzed. Uh, this Shed Ninja has a Focus Sash, so I need to hit him twice. I hit him this turn with a Fire Punch just to break the Focus Sash, and then this big fat bitch just starts Calm Minding. Next turn, Sucker Punch is gonna take out the Shed Ninja pretty quick and easy, and then I'm just gonna start chipping away at this Masharna. And it still really wants to set up some Calm Minds. You, you have fun with that. Masharna has no more teammates left, so a quick lunge and Stone Edge is enough to take it out. I guess I embarrassed this guy so bad that he just had to dip. This place is not creepy at all. Nice place. Big teeny. All right, I just need to get a general consensus from everyone. Uh, Pseudo Wudo, does it make anyone else uncomfortable the way that he's moving? Comment down below, oil me up, father, if you agree. A couple fire punches will do the trick. All right, that's low enough HP. Hey ya! Hey ya! Motherfucker, I said, hey -ya! Please? You know what? I don't even want you. Damn, I thought that one would work. hey -ya! <sighs> Stop. I can go all day. Victini, what? quick look behind you. Huh? All right, Victini, if you don't stay in the ball, you're gay. works every time. Wow, that battle was so intense, it reminded me of how in 1588, the British defeated the Spanish Armada. Anyways, this strange purple woman convinces me that it's a good idea to go play in the sewers. Let's get stinky. But apparently, Steven is a little nervous and he needs me to hold his hand. Ah, sewer pirates. Get out of here, these sewers belong to me. Ah, sewer friends. You guys wanna play in the raw sewage with me? No, 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 no. No, come back, friend. We have so much to talk about. I didn't even know that these gardens existed in the first place. Is are these new? Which of the evolutions is my favorite? Easy. Elegant and beautiful is one way to describe a Vaporeon. However, I prefer the term compatible. Well, it's gym time. And despite this being yet another gym of a useless type, it's pretty fun because you get to hop into these little pods and go, wee. If I were the gym leader here though, I would be pretty offended if the trainers I hired to stand guard in my gym defended me with a male combi. What's up, sewer man? You're bragging about a Vespa Queen and a Levon? Yeah, man, that's really something to flex. It's a double battle, so... Oh no, two bugs at once. I'm terrified. Surprisingly, an Aerial Ace from Ledian and a Flame Burst from Victini is not enough to take out the Masquerade. So those two just return the favor with a Mud Shot and an Electro Web, respectively. Because the Masquerade and the Mothim are both faster than me now, uh, Victini is just gonna die to a Bubble Beam and an Air Cutter, but my Ledian is gonna stay alive to hit the Mothim with an Aerial Ace. I bring in the Pseudo Wudo because he can just take out the Masquerade with a Sucker Punch, and I'm really just saving my heavy hitters for the last part of the fight. The Levani has a Focus Sash, so a Flame Burst is gonna bring it down to one. The Levani is also gonna go for a Swords Dance, funny enough, and the Motham is gonna try and slow us down with an Electro Web. However, this doesn't matter because my Pseudo Wudo is just gonna beat the Levani to death. Excavalier comes in, which is kind of silly. Uh, Pseudo Wudo is just gonna Sucker Punch to take out the Motham, and then my Charmeleon is gonna do as much damage as he can to the Excavalier. However, he does have an Akaberry, so a Fire Move is not gonna one-shot him. He does go for a Razor Shell on my Pseudo Wudo, but it doesn't really matter. All Pseudo Wudo has to do now is just die. So the Heracross comes in, it's gonna Brick Break my Pseudo Wudo for the kill. However, I return the favor with a Blaze Kick into the Heracross. And because of my dragon typing, the Excavalier cannot kill me with a Razor Shell. Yeah, I should also mention that every time uh, Charmeleon's stats are lowered, Defiant boosts. So yeah, safe to say he can just pretty much one-shot anything on the other side. 
No, don't intimidate me. Oh, no. OJ isn't going to do much. We're just going to try and fish for a paralysis with dragon breath, but we don't get it. However, a blaze kick is going to kill the Excavalier with no issues whatsoever. And by no issues whatsoever, I mean my Servine is getting one shot. What's wrong, sewer man? You feel like you're in trouble? Eat shit. Let's go, we got the sewer badge. I never really explored these streets. So this is apparently where Berg's artwork is? Wow, fascinating. Well, we made it to the desert route finally. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna catch anything here, but you know, it's progress at least. I meet this cool scientist guy who just tells all of the crustle that are blocking the path to fuck off. Of course he wants to battle though. This guy's gotta be tough. Uh oh. Well, thanks for the life orb. I will catch you later. Now, there's just like a little bit of desert ruins here that I get to explore, and there's nothing interesting here. However, there is a static braviary encounter. It's pretty cool. Honestly, this guy looks like he'd be a Carl. There's also the desert resort, which doesn't have a lot to offer me currently. I know I can get a Volcarona here later. There's also the fossil reviver lady, but I don't really care about getting any fossil mons right now. So, ooh, this place looks fancy. Yo. Oh, I need to be like this guy. This guy's got bitches. Whoa, I, I don't want to manage this shit. No. Ugh. A phrase that I'd use to greet everyone. What will I say when something truly moves my heart? <laughs> you can't say that. How should you address me? It's, it's simple, really. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Okay, I need to get the fuck out of here. All right, we made it to Nimbasa. That's pretty cool. Is this... Oh, there's a little cutscene. Wait, you want a bat? No, I wasn't ready for... Oh, come on, man. Because the Gigalith set up a sandstorm, uh, this Stoutland has sand rush and is going to be incredibly fast. Uh, I'm just going to hit the Gigalith with a leaf tornado. And because I didn't expect a double battle to be here... Uh, I'm sorry, Charmeleon, you just kind of have to die. Oh, he lives on one! My hero! Never mind. I whip out my Pintus. Thankfully, the Stoutland misses his play rough, and I could just take out the Gigalith this turn with a Leaf Tornado. However, my Pintus uh, just misses the Stone Edge, so you win some, you lose some. I let my Superior take the play rough because I don't want to swap anything into it. Luckily for me, the Machamp goes for a Cross Poison, which does nothing to my Pseudo Wudo, which allows him to actually land the Stone Edge. Insane crit! I hit the Machamp with an Aerial Ace, and let me just say, it's a critical hit, but man, Ledian is a champ. The Unpheasant goes for a Hurricane to hit my Ledian, but Ledian is just so beefy and tanky that we live that shit. Oh, and Pseudobudo once again is acting useless. A Sucker Punch and an Aerial Ace act for some chip damage, however, the Unpheasant is gonna kill my Ledian. But an Unpheasant up against two Rock types, yeah, you're not winning this fight. Oh, you just lose and you're gonna dip? All right, asshole. Hey, what's up, man? Have I heard of a Pokemon called Zorark? Yeah, I have. Oh, thanks for the TM, I guess. Hey, if you see uh, any Zorark in the area though, let me know because I fucking hate those guys. Hey, what the fuck? Get your ass back here. I lost him. I couldn't catch up to him. I'm just trying to explore the surrounding routes before I do the gym, but uh, hey, Bianca, what's up? Oh, yeah, I'll take fly. Yeah, I've heard of hidden grottos before. I, I know how to find them. Are you okay? Or... Oh, you heard? Oh, there must be a grotto over there. Yeah, let's go find it. Yeah, I actually see it to the right, right over there. Yeah, it, it's over here. You're standing right next to it. Are you... Yeah, yep. You, you passed it. Uh-huh. Yep. There you go. I wonder what we'll find. Oh, yeah. Cool. A Stantler. Trash. Oh, aren't these the subway bosses? Ah, uh, fuck it. I guess we're doing a double battle. Shh. 
Chandelier protects turn one, but that's fine because I just wanted to fake out the Electros anyways, and my Duop partner actually just goes for some damage on the Electros. Power Up Punch on the next turn is enough to kill the Electros, I don't even think the critical hit mattered, and the Chandelure goes for a Hex on my partner rather than me. I'm not gonna complain, kill his guys, not mine. Ooh, but the Razor Shell on the Chandelure is very nice. A Power Up Punch on the Umbreon is gonna do quite a chunk of damage, and just another Hex on my partner? Okay. A Foul Punch on my partner, okay. Yeah, no, don't hit me, don't hit I'm not. I'm not the threat, it's him. A Rock Tomb on the Chandelure is gonna be enough to take it out, and my partner Simi Seer is able to take out the Umbreon with a Crunch. It has Psychic Gem to boost its Psychic move, so I might die, Never mind. just kill my partner. And then I just go for a Rock Tomb because it's the only thing that isn't resist- Oh, and it just kills. Okay, Metacham is fair and balanced. I don't even know if there was a point to doing that battle, but a win is a win. Apparently I gotta find the gym leader in this little roller coaster room. Oh, oh, wee! Oh my God, whoa! Come to find out that I only went through this little amusement park for nothing. Not gonna complain though, it's kind of fun. Gym time, baby! Yo, this beat kind of hard. You want me to run the catwalk? I got you. Show me what you got. Oh, that was a cool spin. Too bad you're trash. And the crowd goes crazy. Ah. Yeah, get out of here. Let me just like work this catwalk real quick. Show me your moves. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you're still trash. The crowd, it's, they're going ballistic. I was born to be a model. Hit me with it. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh my God. The back to back. If only you weren't trash. Who's next? Oh. Oh my God, I can't compete with that. Just kidding, I'm here to beat your ass. For the first time this playthrough, we have a triple battle. Fake out the Electivire because it has an additional fighting type added to it and it's annoying as shit. The Lantern has a bunch of spread moves as it sits in the middle, so I'm gonna try and take it out as quickly as possible. An Air Slash from the Amalga is gonna make my Meganium flinch, and the Lantern is gonna go for an Icy Wind. However, I have Contrary on my Superior, so every time it does this, I'm just getting faster. I go for a Leaf Tornado on the Lantern, however, it does live on 1 HP. Meanwhile, the Amalga goes for an Air Slash on my Meganium, which ends up killing it. An Ice Punch comes out from the Electivire, so sadly, my Superior falls as well. The Lantern goes for an Icy Wind, but Metacham doesn't really care about speed at this point. However, a Zen Headbutt is gonna cleanly take out the Electivire. Sucker Punch from Pseudo Wudo is gonna take out the Lantern, and a Blaze Kick is gonna do some good chip to the Zebstrika. Zebstrika returns the favor by wild charging my Metacham, however, it's not enough to kill it. This charge comes out from the Amalga, and luckily for me, Charizard and Pseudo both avoid paralysis. Meanwhile, Metacham can go for the Rock Tomb and take out the Zebstrika. This Raichu has extreme speed, so it's able to take out my Metacham before anyone can do anything about it. Charizard Blaze kicks the Stunfisk for a little bit of damage. The Amalga misses an Air Slash, which is pretty big, but my Pseudo Wudo is able to land the Stone Edge. The Amalga lives on one because it has a Focus Sash, however, I'm not worried because I can just Sucker Punch it the next turn. Stunfisk goes for a Muddy Water, but it's not gonna do too much, so I'm not that worried about it. As I just said, a Sucker Punch will take out the Amalga. Another Blaze Kick into the Stunfisk is gonna take it down to one, and a Psy Shock into the Raichu slot is gonna do a good chunk of damage. Somehow the Raichu knows Ice Go Crash? Earth Power from the Stunfisk comes out onto my Pseudo Wudo, which is definitely going to kill it. However, Victini outspeeds both of them onto the side, and a Flame Burst is gonna be enough to take both of them out at the same time. Bro, triple battles are so chaotic. Ooh, the TM for Volt Switch, though. Kinda fire. Yes, bitch, I'm feeling fabulous.
Heartbreaker? <laughs> I barely know her. I'm a rogue who doesn't play by anybody's rules except for my own. My name strikes fear into the hearts of those that are daring enough to confront me. The world knows my name, but nobody's brave enough to speak it. Hey, Charles. Except for that guy. Steven, leave these pirates alone. Hold it, what are you guys doing here? Man, Man we're just chilling. Man, but now we're gonna kick your ass. Steven, no, you're the one that started this. You can finish it. I'll check in with you later. All right, fine. I'm only gonna help you because I feel bad. Yeah, that'll show you. All right, so what now, Steve? Five years ago, <laughs> Team Plasma <laughs> stole my little sister's This is purloin. about a purloin, dude? I was you only can literally a little go kid. get one. They're I couldn't like do anything about it. Again. Damn, this dude's dramatic. Yo, what are all these people doing over here? They call me a heartbreaker, but my name? <laughs> Charles. And I really wanted to impress this girl. I invented triple battles. It's, 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 um, um, it's, it's a Pokemon battle, but with three Pokemon. Wow. Do you, do you get it? Yeah, I, I get it. They call me a heartbreaker, but my name? Are you okay, man? <laughs> Charles? Charles. Charles, you can't be going around talking to children, telling them that you're at full throttle. I love getting intimidated at the start of a battle. Please give me plus one attack. A sludge bomb from Excelgore is somehow not enough to kill my Meganium. I go for a leaf blade on the Krokorok with my plus one superior, and that is enough to take it out. I'm kind of a bozo, and I doubled into that slot with a grass knot from Victini, so, uh, F. But the Icy Wind isn't gonna kill anybody here. Get him, Meganium! Hit him with an ancient power! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? My guys are gonna die this turn, so I go for a Leaf Blade to get as much damage as possible on the Bufalant. Meanwhile, Excelgore makes my Meganium bite the curb. Air Cutter is gonna take out my Superior, however, my Victini manages to dodge it. Victini does get the Psy Shock off on the Bufalant, and it's just barely enough to not kill. Owie. I swap out Victini to save them for later, and I go for a Fake Out on the Excelgore. Jesus Christ, Metacham. Pseudo Wudo takes an Esper Wing and Charizard takes out the Bufalant with a Flame Burst. Charizard hits the Dredagon with a Dragon Breath for a good amount of damage. Everyone on the team is going to tank the Air Cutter. Metacham is gonna get a Rock Tomb off on the Sigilyph. Dredagon is going to miss a Dragon Rush. Crustle goes for an X Scissor on Pseudo Wudo and Pseudo Wudo hits a Stone Edge on the Crustle. Sadly, it does have Sturdy. I don't know what the fuck Esper Wing does, but somehow it out-prioritizes Sucker Punch, so Pseudo Wudo's dead. Crustle has a Custap, so it gets to hit my Charizard with a Rock Slide. Oh boy. But at least Metacham can take out the Dredagon with a Power Up Punch. A Blaze Kick from Victini is gonna take out the Sigilyph. I don't know why it didn't Esper Wing again, but whatever. Metacham cannot hit the Crustle from the other side of the field, so Victini just dies to a Rock Slide. But it's just a 1v1 now, and the Crustle's on 1, so this is easy peasy for my Metacham. They call me a Heartbreaker. That's embarrassing. They call me a Heartbreaker, but my name is Charles. <laughs> There is no way that this guy is mentally well. Bridge time! Driftville City is famous for the drawbridge, the PWT, and of course... Charles! Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. Hey, what's up? Please stop talking about motorcycles. He was at full throttle! I really don't care that Charles was here. What do you want? Oh, you're just giving me fossils. Okay, cool. Appreciate it. All right, uh, see ya. Oh, what's up, Shaman? Hey, baby. You've never seen a Charizard? Here, I'll show you mine. Okay, stop, stop. Get the, f get the fuck away from me. Oh, it's time to schmoove. Before I can actually get into the city, though, I encounter two different types of Team Plasma members. I guess one is old and one is new. 
Oh, hey, Steven. Welcome. Ah! That was all really weird. What do you think about this, Wizcash? Yep, uh huh. Yep, nope. That shit was pretty weird. This place just has a bunch of hotels for some reason. So uh, I'm just going to go break into a bunch of different people's rooms. Yo, what's up? Nice place. Uh, thanks for the iron ball, I guess. I, I still feel his presence. I swear to God. Bro, why, what are you doing? They call Dude, me a heartbreaker. Stop. Charles, my name? Please, stop. Charles. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy intimidate. Fake out the Acelagor, Leaf Blade, the Crocodile. Good night. A Blaze Kick on the Sigilyph for a little chip, and the Sigilyph counters with an Icy Wind. I figured the best damage I could do is heart stamp the Excelgore to try and take it out. However, I don't, and it gets off a U-turn. A rock slide from the Archaeops is gonna be enough to take out my superior and do a good amount of damage to Victini. And then you can't forget about the asshole throwing an icy wind. Psyshock on the Archaeops is gonna be enough to bring it into defeatist range, so now I don't have to worry about it as much, and a rock tomb is gonna take out the Sigilyph. Yeah, so the Caracosta Aqua Jets and kills my Medicham. And Excelgore is gonna U-turn and kill my Victini. Basculin comes in and then my Magneton gets hit with a Rock Slide. I don't get flinched, however, I chose to use Magnet Bomb on the Excelgore. So oopsie daisies, I made a fucky wucky. Dragon Breath is gonna be enough to take out the Archaeops. But of course, the Basculin knows head smash. Farewell, Charizard. Yeah, I, I, I'm just kind of fucked at this point. I, I I did not have a team to do this battle. <laughs> I guess he really is a heartbreaker. What a humiliating loss. I will never live that one down. Hello, new best friend. Oh, hold on. Let me just prove my worth in battle real quick. Bro's got the Bufalant on the lead. <laughs> Meet Carl, bitch. Hit him with an aerial ace for a little damage. You know the deal. Head charge, no biggie. Holy shit. Surely Crush Claw gets the KO. All right, looks like Carl, you're going back in the box. Bufflink goes down with a single heart stamp, and the Stoutland comes out, and it has Intimidate, so thank you for the attack boost. Well, we just hit the Stoutland with a single Leaf Blade, and yeah, of course a crit would take it out. Swoobat comes in, and I just kind of want to see what OJ Simpson can do, so I'm going to Dragon Breath and try and get a Paralysis. We don't get it, and yeah, I forgot this thing as simple, and this setting up with a nasty plot is terrifying. There is no chance I can swap anything in safely on this, so you're just gonna go for a Dragon Breath OJ, and then I'll see you on the other side. It's all good. We got the guy. <laughs> and a Chandelure with Shadow Tag. Uh, goodbye, Magneton. Fuck him up, Charizard. Air Slash Flinch. Sad face. Air slash flinch. God damn it. So good, Victini's gonna clean up. A quick Psy shock to put the Chandelure in the dirt. And the last Mon in the back is a Zorark. Uh, maybe I can kill it with a Blaze Kick. Aw. You, it, why'd you go for Grass Knot? Oh, now you go for Sucker Punch? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. But get the fuck out of here. Oh, you're gonna offer me a Zorua. Uh, no thanks, that Mon is trash. Wow, these Hoenn gym leaders are pretty cool, right? Surely you get like a good reward from beating them. Go fuck yourself, Norman. I wanted to get a few more encounters and going into round six, I found a hidden grotto. I'm not getting you. Now I tested this out. Uh, if I just run away from the Snover and get rid of the encounter, I can leave and just re-enter the grotto and there's a new Mon and yes, our goat has returned. Welcome back, Mr. Weed. Surely because I've caught a Mon in this hidden grotto, it'll just disappear or it'll stop working. No, I can just keep looking for Mons. And after a few more attempts, I get exactly what I was looking for. Uh, no 
¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Mmm, me gusta lechuga. Well, I guess it's time for the gym. The gym itself isn't too difficult. The more annoying part is just how fucking difficult it is to find the gym leader in the first place. All you gotta do is just navigate through a maze of dark platforms and trainers hiding in the shadows. And yeah, you just gotta find the right path to the leader. Fun. Yeah, maybe he's this way. Just kidding, it's a fucking dead end. It took me way too long to figure out how to find the cowboy. Whoa! Don't mind the screen shaking, that is just Clay summoning the permanent sandstorm. Clay has the audacity to lead a seismitoad. Mr. Weed, put this man in the dirt. <laughs> Uh, and then the Nido King comes out. Uh, I'll be straight up with you, Carl. Your only job here is to die. Wow, you're so good at following orders. Victini comes in next, and it actually learns Psy Shield Bash, so I could do a good amount of damage to the Nido King with this while also raising both of my defenses. This is really good because the Nido King is gonna hit me with an Earth Power, and as long as I don't get crit, I'm chilling. Perfect. From here, a Psy Shock will easily take out the Nido King. Torterra comes in next, and Victini, you're not really going to be useful for the rest of this fight, so Blaze Kick, get some good damage, and I'll see you later. Metacham can come in and finish this off. Uh, just a quick fake out for a little chip, and then a power up punch is going to be enough to kill the Torterra and also raise my attack for the next Mon. Very brave of you to send in a Mamo Swine. Play, let me just show you why Power Up Punch is the best move in the game. Oh no, a Garchomp. Ruh row. He's gonna hit me with an Earthquake, but I should be able to live this. Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, you're just dead. You're not surviving a Zen Headbutt. Womp womp, rip bozo. Okay, this kind of sucks though, because the Excadrill has Sand Rush and it's gonna outspeed everything I have. Thus, it will have no issue taking out my Metacham. All right, Mr. Weed, let's show him who's boss. Mach Punch won't kill, but it should be good damage. Jesus Christ, do not fuck with my goat. Finally, another gym badge that looks like it'll fit perfectly up my ass. Ooh, TM Earthquake. What are you two goobers talking about? Ah, the Pokemon World Tournament. Okay, okay. I will meet you there. This place is pretty cool. Uh, they got some stands, like uh, this dude tells you the hidden powers of your guys. There's a move remember, deleter, etc. There's another entrance to the Relic Passage, and I'm just curious enough to go see what's up. There's some cool stuff like the TM for Play Rough, and it's definitely a lot of Strength Rock. Oh, 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 does this mean? Come to me, you war criminal. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. That's about all I could find that was useful in the Relic Passage. So I guess, uh, I guess I'm gonna go enter the tournament. Woo! Uh, so I can only participate in the Driftvale tournament and I can only pick three Mons. It's showtime. Wow, what a bracket. You're gonna make me fight Steven round one? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, he's hot, he's sweaty, he's moist. Welcome up, boys, my babies. He's cringe, he's weird, it's Steven. This will surely be the battle of a lifetime. All right, bring it on, Steven. You're a little bitch. Embor? Nah, I got that. Wait. Uh, Steven, why are your guys level 25? What the fuck was the point of that? You know what? Maybe that's just the warm up round. It, it, yeah, it'll get, it'll get better. All right, Sharon, show me what you got. Okay, the Stoutland lead, I can respect it. Sharon, what the fuck? Well, grand finals time. Ladies and gentlemen, he's hot, he's red, he's taking your mom to bed. It's it's the and then there's this guy with his level 25 mon. Look, Colrus, for the sake of my sanity, I swear to God, if your mons are all level 25. Okay, you evolved your Magnemite, that's a start. Fuck you. Damn, I lost the footage, guys. It was like a really well-fought battle. Ugh, I, I almost didn't make it out alive. What do I win? Woo! One single battle point, baby! No, no, leave. That was pretty fun, guys. I had a good time.
Me. <laughs> oh shit. Are we are we really getting on the pirate ship? Whatever. All right, guys. Now what? <laughs> that was just one guy. That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> the devil shakes with fear when the nice guy gets angry. Looks like I'm gonna have to put these two noobs to bed. Oh, you think you can handle me? Oh yeah. Get tucked, idiot. Oh, it's your turn. All right, go tuck yourself. What's the point of everybody handling their respective grunts if you guys are just gonna call me for backup anyways? This sharp somehow just tanks the fighting move even though he's four times weak to it, and he decides to counter by committing first degree murder against the Metang. Oh, and then Sharon's kind of helping, I guess. Carl comes out because the other side has the audacity to double brick break into me, but at least Sharon actually does something useful this turn. Got the club going up. On a Tuesday. No, El Perro. Aquatel from Chinchino is going to fuck up the sock, and the strength might as well have just killed the muck. Rock slide ain't gonna save you, little bro. No, goodbye, Sneasel. All right, Carl, this is your time to redeem yourself. Let's fucking go, baby! Get the fuck out of here! All right, time to save your useless ass. Even after an Intimidate, a power-up punch just almost kills the Croc Rock. Garbodor just wants to stockpile. Meanwhile, we just tank the high horsepower. Oh, and then Steven's helping, I guess. Bah, 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 bah. Get the fuck out of here. Do me a favor and look at the HP of Bisharp and Embor at this point in the fight. And now let me show you an image of their HP at the end of the fight. Who's surprised? Definitely not me. Holy shit, guys, be careful. This guy's purple. Oh, it's a ninja ambush. Uh, well, apparently they have the power of teleportation because the ship is gone. That was definitely one of the most experiences of all time. Wait, there's something I'm forgetting to do. They call me a <laughs> that fool. Ah, so you finally made it. You think I wouldn't pass up an opportunity to kick your ass? Quite the opposite, my friend. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Quit your yapping, pal. Let's get to it. <sighs> if you insist. You really think you stand a chance? <laughs> Do you? Now this'll be interesting. Let's see what you can do. To be continued. Oh. This episode is sponsored by Fanboy Hooters. Call 833-1919 now to reserve a table. I'm kind of hungry. Hello, this is Fanboy Hooters. Uh, sorry, all of our tables are full right now. We're God incredibly damn it. Busy. Making my way up through Route 6, I run into Sharon, who brings me into this science lab. Did I accept the gift deerling? No, that mon is dog shit. Instead, I just take surf from Sharon. However, my current dilemma is that I am lacking in the water type department. While I do have my water monkey, P. Diddy, uh... I, he's trash, I'm not using him. Instead, I decide to head back into Clay Tunnel. Now I know the caves around this area all start to connect, so by exploring Clay Tunnel, I end up in Mistralton Cave. After what Mr. Weed did to the trainers that got in my way within these caves, he now has a warrant out for his arrest. However, I don't need to explore Mistralton Cave just yet because what I'm after is really in Clay Tunnel. Because I picked up a prism scale earlier in the desert routes, I figured why not use a Milotic? After all, I never get to use them in the vanilla games. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. I meant to say Feebas. Eventually though, I do find an exit from Mistralton that leads me back to Route 6. There's no way I was intended to come this way because I trigger a cutscene from the opposite side of the bridge. Cobra! <laughs> I make sure to evolve my beautiful beef ass into an even more beautiful beef ass, and I head to the end of Route 6. Steven just needs me to remind him why he's a little bitch. Steven, I'm gonna let you know right now, man, if you lose this battle, it's embarrassing because I only brought four mons. 
Charizard can just dish out a Fire Lash, tank a Boom Burst, and then finish off the Swallow with a second Fire Lash. Embor comes out, and silly me, I go for an Air Slash while forgetting that Embor is not a fighting type in this game. And because Charizard is not a flying type, I am dead. It's a good opportunity to let my Lotic get some battling in. One Surf is more than enough to kill the Embor. Really, Steven? Any Electric? Not even an Electross? Okay. Hitting this thing with a Surf is going to do quite a lot of damage. However, it's not enough to take out the Electric. It hits me back with a Wild Charge. However, this thing sucks ass and it doesn't really do too much. Get out of here. Now Flygon comes in and once again, there's a type change because Flygon is no longer a ground type. Rather, it is Bug and Dragon. So going for a Surf, I thought I'd do a good amount of damage, however, it now resists the water move. And of course, the Flygon decides it wants to set up a Dragon Dance. Sorry, my Lotic, you just kinda have to die. Just gotta bring in the goat to do goat things. Now this Flygon resists everything I have, but Bloom is just kind of different with Technician, so I somehow just tank a Life Orb Dragon Claw, and a Force Palm is able to paralyze the Flygon. Just like an overweight girl on Tinder, Bloom is now gonna swipe left. Last is the Starmie, and unlucky for me, it just outspeeds Berloom. Don't worry, because lore-accurate OJ Simpson is going to commit first-degree murder on this Starmie with a blade. See you later, pussy. I think Charge Stone Cave is pretty fun, and I guess Bianca thinks the same way that I do. I do enjoy pushing the rocks around. Whee! Of course, there's really nothing important going on in this cave, just a bunch of optional trainers. Hi, I'm the Nugget Man. And I'm the Nugget Boy. Thank you. Nugget about it. That's right, guys. The only thing noteworthy that happened in this cave was an NPC saying Nugget about it. But who really cares because we made it to Mistralton. I run into the professor and after she raids my Pokedex, she gifts me a Master Ball. But I can't go into the gym just yet, so it looks like I have to keep pressing forward. However, I still do want to add a few more members to the team. The first one is this Fampy because honestly, I've been using Fampy and Donphan a lot in ROM hacks recently and... It kind of goes hard, so it's time to bring the pain train. Now, I did a little thinking, and I came to the conclusion that Victini, I really don't care about. Plus, they're just really overpowered. So, here's my solution. By combining the grass type of Meganium, the flying type of Braviary, and the mythical status of Victini, I offer this blood sacrifice. Everybody say hello to Flashbang. At the end of the day, not only is Victini overpowered, but... I never get to actually play with Shaman and I can only get them in the post game. Yeah, fuck that. I want them now. Stop looking at me like that. I'm not battling you. Now, my team is still not complete because after looking at the types that I have, I am definitely lacking in the electric department in terms of some resistances and offensive type coverage. Sadly, there aren't a lot of electric types or really just Pokemon that meet my type coverage needs in general. Um. I decided to catch a horse. But now that I have all the team members that I need for the time being, it's time to keep going. I'm always a fan of checking the houses. I know triple battles are kind of hit or miss. Some people like them, some people hate them, but I gotta say I'm having fun with them. Wow, cool tower. Anyways, I really have no desire just to fight a gauntlet of optional trainers. Ooh, a house. What's up? Hey kid, you like big hot men? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. All right, all right. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely a big hot man. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, what about this guy? Yeah, that's a, that's a big hot man. Is, are, are you going somewhere with this? Wait, or... wait, 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 wait. There's one more, one more, one more. Please look, please you look. You just keep pictures of big muscular men to show to passing by strangers? Uh, maybe. Wait, look at this one. I'm gonna go. Hold on guys, I'm getting a phone call. Why so serious? <laughs> Well, we made it to the end of the route. Ooh, two old men. My aura must be really strong if these Team Plasma members are going to mention it every single time. Man, man. Oh my god, did they just set off a bomb? Oh shit, looks like I'm getting in the middle of a turf war. Steven, is that you? Who the fuck is that? I don't know who this guy is, but he does have a point. Oh, they're going to get away. Damn, looks like they got away. Well, thanks for your help, chill guy. Why am I question marking? Oh, dude, this guy sucks. Blah, 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 blah. Come. Come. I have yet to battle this guy and it not be just a clean sweep. Did you at least evolve your Magneton or something? What is empty? What the fuck is that? Is this thing just going to be like rock and dark or steel and dark? I don't know. Oh, perfect. A red card. 
It's setting up stealth rocks? Dude, fuck you! No, I'm just gonna keep pressing surf. Hmm. Why do you have Whirlwind? All right, welcome back, Metacham. Oh, thank God this thing outspeeds me. Don't flinch, don't flinch. Okay. What the fuck is UFO? What is this shit? I, of, of course it knows Aero Blast. Why, why wouldn't it, you know? All right, whatever, fuck him up, horse. Well, I'm already faster, so I guess the flame charge wasn't necessary. What, what do you even do to me here? Psychic? Dude. Okay. <laughs> the drop, yay! Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back here, pussy. Why do you have another one? Actually, actually, wait, wait, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. I Volt Switch out, I break his air balloon. Surely he just dies to a ground move if he has an air balloon, right? Don't give a shit about a meteor mash. Uh, burn in hell? Love to see it. Who's <laughs> foo? Oh shit, no, this guy looks kind of chill. He does have needle arm though. Ah, but you're a bitch, get fucked. Okay, Dawn fan, okay. All right, it's just the stupid ass UFO left. What is this thing, flying an electric? How much does an ice shard do? Okay, not terrible. Uh, I'm just dead to Aeroblast, though. My favorite part about this is that it has leftovers. All right, well, uh, Shaman, you got Hidden Power Ice. Surely this does a good amount of damage, right? Okay. <gasps> we dodged the Aeroblast! Hit him with the Hidden Power! Kill, 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 kill. Damn it. No! <laughs> I'm not even worried. Shaman, hit this man with the Hidden Power. Oh, huge! Fuck! Fuck! When in doubt, try, try again. <sighs> oh, just, I, I don't even know. You know what? Fine, just, just kill me, man. I don't care anymore. That's why you're Maiko! Maiko! Hidden power! Uh, oh! Oh, it didn't recover. Wait, this is fine. This is fine. All right, Volcarona, you don't really have good moves on you, but like, sure. Oh, I forgot about Stealth Rocks. All you can do is Flame Wheel. Uh-oh. Bro, why did I bring Volcarona? Why does this thing not even get good moves in the first place? Like, I got a modest Volcarona and it has like only physical moves. This thing is like fucking unkillable. All right, horse, I'm gonna need you to do something. Oh, the oh, yeah, I, I meant to do that. How much does a discharge do? Okay, well, that was a waste of fucking time. All right, you know what? Volt switch me all you want. I cast, kill yourself. Whoosh, beep, 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 beep. I should have just done that sooner. Hey, man, get it through your fucking head. I want nothing to do with you. Okay. Oh, wait, this gym's cool. <laughs> Thanks, Clyde. The puzzle in this gym is to avoid the wind because you really don't want to get blown. But luckily for me, I'm really good at that because I sit inside all day and play Pokemon. <sighs> what up, bitch? As I stated earlier, I'm starting to like triple battles, and this one is no different. However, this time, I've actually learned to put my spread move user in the middle. Donphan is gonna get a cheeky ice shard off on the Gliscor, and by leading Donphan and Magnezone, I can just start ripping some discharges from my horse. Not only do I get a paralysis on the Jump Bluff, but I also get one on the Pidgeot. Jump Bluff goes for a flying gem boosted hurricane on my Donphan, but lucky for me, he's tanky and eats that shit right up. And yeah, of course the Gliscor goes for an earthquake. Magnezone, you have been useless this entire playthrough. Another Ice Shard from Donphan is going to guarantee a kill on the Gliscor. And a Flame Charge from my horse is going to take out the Jump Bluff. Okay, never mind. This is why I don't use Zebstrike of this modest dog shit. At least my Macargo is going to murder the Pidgeot with a Power Gem. Zebstrike, your failure to kill a Jump Bluff has caused my Donphan to die. I sucker punch the Aerodactyl because I don't think the Discharge will one hit it, and that's exactly what I go for. However, I do gotta accept the fact that I will paralyze my Macargo and maybe my Pseudo Wudo. However, I think the damage speaks for itself. When in doubt, hit him with a Discharge. Damn it, this pussy has a barrier to weaken it. Oh well, Aerodactyl's dead. Ooh, 
will end the paralysis on Togekiss. Okay, Zebra, maybe you're actually kind of sick. Oh, you can't move. Let me help you out. That was so heroic and brave of you, Pseudo Wudo. Thank you for dying for the cause. Don't put this up my ass. Don't put this up my ass. Don't put this up my ass. Oh, here we go. I beat you in a battle and you're rewarding me with a fetch quest. I see how it is. Yo, dumbass, we got places to be. Ah, uh, shit, bro. We're going for a plane ride. Wait, so um, where are we going? I hope we're going somewhere cool, at least. I don't want to go somewhere late. Oh my god! Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. This place sucks. But a new town means new items and NPCs to talk to. Like, you never know what you're going to get from a random trainer. Like, like, why are you giving me Thunderbolt? This is just a random ass dude. Looking at the encounter table for Reversal Mountain, I decided there's two mons that I want to catch. First is this Trap Inch, because, you know, I thought Bug and Dragon is a very unique typing, and I want to try it out. I am going to miss the ground typing on this guy, because that's really really good for stab moves, so I guess you could say I'm a slut for sand. I actually wasn't planning on getting a second Mon here, but I encountered this Gligar and I just couldn't resist. Uh, look at this guy, he's so goddamn silly. Welcome back to the squad, Mr. Silly. So I guess we head into the mountain now. What up, Bianca? You know what? I guess we can have a battle. Damn, you are way more intimidating than Steven. Okay, pause, time out. So when I was looking back on this footage, I, I don't know, I have no idea why, man, um, but I, I, it just caught my attention that uh, Zeb Straka just has like a fat ass, right? Like it's a detailed ass for this sprite. I went down this rabbit hole of like looking up, I'm like, do they just, uh, do other Pokemon that are more like animals? Like, do they have defined asses? I was looking at like, giraffe rig i'm looking up fucking zebstrika sprites on google images like look at this picture that i found this is this is like a 1v1 of like a zebstrika versus a palpatone why is he posed like that bro what's palpatone's just like mm, damn. Mm. what about this one that i found like i probably should have put a warning label on this video for white women i kind of understand what you guys are starting to see in horses <laughs> Why you got it? Why why does Zeb Stryka have the defined ass and why is it like always pointed directly at the camera? You know what I mean? So Bianca and I are traveling through this cave together and it's just beating up a bunch of random trainers as usual, uh, except Bianca is just kind of gonna watch me beat up trainers for her. She's not really gonna do much fighting. I do end up finding a charcoal and the TM for flamethrower. It doesn't take very long to get to the end of the cave where Bianca and I part ways, but we make it to Undella Town, so it's a dub. I scour the city and I find a TM for Scald. This town has an aquarium. After a brief discussion with the ladies, Cynthia is kind enough to give me the HM for Waterfall. Now, there's kind of split paths that I can explore here. I can go to the south. I think I can go to the east. I don't know. I didn't even try. Uh, I'm going to go north. Uh, Steven, all right. I need to kick your ass again. All right, show me what you got. Have anything to say for yourself oh um i'm sorry this guy stole my daughter's cat and when she tried to get it back he slapped the shit out of her all right that's it i've heard enough i am hereby sentencing you steven to watching one alt video oh oh golly heck i really messed up this time Oh, oh, that intro was too long. You guys just missed the fight with Steven. Great. Oh, Steven, you are still delusional. As I said in the previous episode, I am going to head north, though I will admit I am going to do a little exploring in the other directions as I don't want to miss something crucial to develop the story. Like what's going on in this house? Shatter. Wow, that really was important. Whoa, this Pokemon looks powerful. Wait, DJ, turn that shit up. Oh, 
Ay caramba, llegamos a la ciudad de la conosa. Where the fuck is the library? The professor is insistent that we talk to this old woman who wants to tell us the tale of her old, wrinkly, massive hole. For the safety of everyone that lives in this town, apparently people don't go out after dark. Steven! Hey, Steven, maybe those guys took your sister's purloin. Oh, okay, dude, calm down. Dude, holy shit, you are the least threatening character in a Pokemon game. All right, well, this is an unfortunate lead. Nothing important happened on turn one. Whoa, and suddenly the horse is here. A Thunderbolt takes out the crag and all that is conveniently at one HP. Swalop busts a fat one on me, and Steven comes in clutch to do some massive damage. Zepstrika is not much of a special attacker, but a Thunderbolt still does a good amount to the Walrein. I can't stop the Walrein though from just putting Embor in the dirt. <sighs> Damn, Acid Spray will do that to a fella. A Volt Switch is going to take out the Walrein, which is perfect so I can swap in my Flygon. Swalot actually goes for a Destiny Bond, but even a Wild Charge from Electros is not going to take it out. Weavile wastes its turn by fake-outing the Electros. Punished. Damn, this Swalot just keeps going. Strength will kill the Swalot. Deli Bird? Perish. All right, it lived a plus one strength from Flygon. Hmm, I mean, you got it, Electros. Oh, that's it? Okay. Sick him, boy. Back to what I was doing. Before I progress any further, though, I want to do a little more exploring. I decide to go south of Undela Town so I can explore the Abundant Shrine. Having Waterfall at this point in the game feels very good. But this do be the shrine, though. Oh, God. I hope I don't get ambushed by three big buff men. I've got a bad feeling about this. Me, me and your mom, me and your mom when she, when I, what do you? Oh, you just also make it rain. Wow. This guy really likes sand. Oh, I guess they don't like sand. Okay, now what? <laughs> can I even go to the White Forest? Yeah, fucking course I can't. All right, well, time to check out what's going over in Undella Bay. Splash plate, Draco plate, NPC that won't let me pass. Uh, if you want to pass here, you have to defeat me and my rag and roller. However, we only battle strong and worthy trainers, so get out of my sight. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Well, I guess that's everything, so we're back to progressing the game. Oh, it's question marking. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? I, why is everyone in this region trying to smell me? Having the title boss trainer is pretty awesome. Time out. If there's anything you need to take away from the fight, it is this. Fuck. 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 This earthquake kills or we are fucked. Uh-oh. It's time to rebuild. Cue the epic montage music. <laughs> okay, now we're ready. Let's do it right this time. Benga is going to lead with a Metagross, and we're going to bring out our boy. Ice Punch from the Metagross isn't going to do too much, but an Earthquake in return will. That is just so disappointing. We get tickled by another Ice Punch before we finish off the Metagross with a Power Up Punch. Electivire's just got to come in, tank the Power Up, and then can put the Gyarados in the ground with a Wild Charge. This one is self-explanatory. Dragon Claw is going to tickle the Shaman, and you just die to a nice move. We're just gonna swap back in our Swampert, and this Embor gets V-Create. That's interesting. Eh, cool animation, at least. But we live, and now the Embor is not only weaker, but slower. Goodbye. Ah, uh, this fucker. I just let Swampert die here. I know that because I'm low on HP, it's not gonna go for a Quiver Dance, but I just gotta pray it doesn't get a boost from the fire. Okay. 
you know what? If you're gonna set up, I'm gonna set up too. I guess we're just gonna have a dance battle. An earthquake will do enough damage for me to finish this off with low punny. However, it does go for another quiver dance. Sorry, Flygon, you're not living this. Bring in the bunny, fake out, and sacrifice our Electivire. Bring in the bunny, fake out. Uh-oh. It's all good because Shaman could just come in and hit this thing with an air slash. I wish it were that easy, but this thing is not going to die. However, a knockoff is not going to be enough to take out my Shaman. Hidden power. And we venture forward. Ah, that is right. Before we get to the next main city, we gotta go through the village bridge. Fweet, 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 fweet. What is piercing my mind is a sad sound. What is piercing my heart is a cold night wind. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Ah, uh, this is that guy that does the thousand win streak thing. Yeah. 999 win streak. No, I don't really want to give you the opportunity to beat me. No, oh, I can't pass until I beat you. Oh no. I do catch this Lapras below the bridge though. He definitely looking like a Goobus. Anywho, I like the vibes of this route. You know me, just gotta do some exploring. Hey, am I ruining the surprise? Okay, here, no, I, I'll, I'll just go back down. Oh no, I hope I don't get surprised. Fuck, I hope I don't get surprised. No way, is that Verizion? Wow. It's honestly really cute when people in the comments tell me that like, oh, you should just use false swipe or mons that can apply status. No, that just sounds like some shit a nerd would say. If you're good at the game like me, you can just simply get the mon into red HP by edging with moves. I'm really good at edging. At the end of the day, if you really think about it, every single ball you throw has a 50-50 chance of catching the Pokemon. It either catches it or it doesn't. It's just like flipping a coin and then landing on heads 72 times in a row. But eventually, you're gonna land on tails. See, I know what I'm talking about. Verizian's shiny kind of looks like when you come home after a long day out and your dog is happy to see you. Hello, emo man. This dude's just kind of yapping. I don't really think he's that cool. Never mind, a man of culture. I take it all back. New city, new things to explore. You were able to get to know her through trading Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that evolve by trading parts of their bodies. Okay, what the fuck are you doing up here, bro? This is the biggest Tim Pool fan in the world. But if I bring him another Tim Pool, apparently he will show me a song. All right, I did a little grinding off camera. Here you go, kind sir. <laughs> the council will decide your fate. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I see you over there, Winona. I'll get to you eventually. What's going on up here? Do I want to find the friends that's mimicking you? Okay. Uh, it was you. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah. No prize. Just try again. Okay. <laughs> what is this, man? Hello, strangers. Hey, this is just between you and me, but I used to be a part of Team Plasma, but I'm not anymore. Please don't tell that guy on the other side of the table. Hey, this is just between you and me, but I really want to join Team Plasma because I fucking suck at trading Pokemon. Don't tell that guy on the other side of the table. Hey, this is just between you and- What's in Drayden's house? <laughs> because this game has placed the burden of HMs on me, I decided I wanted to get a actual good physical water attacker because I'm not gonna lie, Swampert has been kind of underwhelming so far. Because my soldiers do not buckle or yield when faced with the cruelty of this world. Well, it's actually kind of fucked up. And by fucked up, I mean pretty awesome. So how Technician works is it powers up moves by, I believe, like 1.5 times if it's base power 60 or lower. Mr. Weed can just learn Power Up Punch, which is power 50. And in this game, Cut is a grass type base power 60 move. He is now unkillable. It is time for you to perish. All I need Lil Pony to do is fake out the Dragonite, and then we're gonna just tank a Hurricane. The only move that Shaman has ever pressed, we just kill the Dragonite with a hidden power. Another Hurricane for the Mantine is definitely gonna take out the Bunny, 
but another hidden power from Shaman is going to do a good chunk of damage to the Altaria. Altaria just goes for an Earthquake. This does nothing. A Hurricane again from the Mantine, this time on Shaman, is perfect because that's exactly who I wanted him to target. Luckily for me, Shaman is not getting confused and I can take out the Altaria with another hidden power. Giga Drain is going to do a good chunk of damage to the Pelipper, but Pelipper is just going to return fire with a Hurricane. A cut from the Berloom is just going to murder the Pelipper. A couple of bonk sound effects later, and Winona tells me that I should go check out the shopping mall on Route 9. All right, what's up? Can I go past Route 9? The tube line is undergoing a test to see how many people it can hold. Can it hold one more? Let me on. Let me on. It can hold one more person. All right, whatever. Shopping mall time. Welcome to Shopping Mall 9. It's called that because it's on Route 9. You can remember it by thinking of this. Done shopping? No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Yo, that's my goat. What up, bro? Yo. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! That was a bit excessive, don't you think? I actually have the best nickname for this guy. The shopping mall here actually has a bunch of useful items, so I'm just gonna grab a bunch of random stuff, because, you know, maybe it'll help down the road. Well, no avoiding it now, I gotta go into the gym. My main man, Clyde. Always keeping me hydrated. How do you like these drag... <laughs> Dragging my fat foot. Unironically, sick ass gym design. Beating one of the trainers just lets you scale the dragon even higher. Oh, and then this too. Bah! Apart from Goobus the Lapras just committing absolute war crimes to these trainers, it's not long before we get to kick Draven's ass. Mwah. Wait, hold on, guys. I need to get the. I need to find the bonk sound effect. Okay, I found it. We're good. Just gotta fake out the Latias, and... Baskelin did his job for now, so Mr. Silly's just gonna tank some moves. Power Up Punch from Lopunny is going to break the Focus Sash on the Sceptile, but Latias is going to return fire with an Aura Sphere. A Leaf Blade from Sceptile isn't gonna do too much. No Focus Sash proc means no Unburden, means I outspeed and kill with Acrobatics. However, I do die to an Aura Sphere. Got the club going up. Oh, don't worry, he's back. Don't worry, he's fucking dead. On a Tuesday. Actually, solid damage from a fly. Shaman doing what Shaman does best and is going to take out the Latias with the HP Ice. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a big fucking uh-oh. Oh, an even bigger uh-oh. Well, cross poison just... Ah, uh, nah. A Dragon Pulse from Latias fails to take out my Shaman. However, the Haxorus' Outrage is going to murder my Gliscor. From downtown with the hidden power ice! Get the fuck out of me! Nice. This is a tough battle, Drayden. I'm gonna have to whip out my Pintus. Sucker Punch from Sudowoodo takes out the Latias. And the Salamence misses its dual wing beat on my Shaman, which allows me to get off another hidden power ice. Flygon is going to Dragon Pulse my Shaman. Let's fucking go, baby! But Salamence hits the dual wing beat. Hiya! Nobody can defeat Goobus. Get out of here! All right, at least this one doesn't look like it will fit up my ass. Ah, it's a beautiful day here in the Unova region. Don't you agree, Drayden? Oh, hey, your Axu finally calmed down. Oh, another bomb. What is that? I come to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch-ass motherfucker. He fucked my wife, so guess what? I'm gonna fuck the Earth. That's right, this is what you get. My super laser pass! Let's get back to business. Okay, no, nope, he's still going. <laughs> Dude, okay, everyone in this city is losing their mind. Take care of the others, got you. Come here, scum. Oh, not you. I guess he meant the others, others. Come here. Oh, not you. You? Man! So like, are there more or not here? Aha! Yeah, just wait there for a sec, hold on. Wait, okay. Meh. Meh. So surely the other person's like up here. Oh, hi. Meh. Meh. All right, let me have the purple guy. Where's he at? Oh, did he just conveniently spawn at the gym? Ah, that is exactly what he did. 
Okay, this won't take very long. Bye-bye. Damn, the audacity of you to just set up a light screen. Don't care. Minus two overheat. Well, I tried. Finish him off, thick thighs. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Show me how thick you really are. Yeah. Your Honor, I fell asleep at the wheel. Honestly, yeah, that's just deserved. Heard you were looking for a new oven. Yeah, this just kind of turns into a back and forth of shadow balls and thunderbolts, but luckily for me, Home Depot is clutch like that. I'm gonna just get off one more thunderbolt before I die. <laughs> Unless... Oh, shit, never mind, he's got ice body. But it doesn't matter if he gets paralyzed again though, right? Uh-oh, Bunny's got this. Get out of my sight. Oh, he actually did. Look, Moist, it's the DNA splices. Oh, those look important. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't keep those out in the open. No, I think it's okay. Yoink. Oh, that's unfortunate. They don't seem to be in the area. However, they can hide. Yeah, they are ninjas. They were just invisible a second ago. Uh, okay, well, Goobus. You scum. I'll get those splicers back. Ah, uh, oh no, ah, uh, no. Hold on, Drain, I'm getting a call. Yeah, guys, there was a ship here in the city. Uh, okay, I'll meet up with you guys soon. Oh, that was fast, Sharon. Okay, never mind. Well, it looks like it's finally time to go north of Undella Town. I got unfinished business. Mmm, my rag and roller have been waiting for a strong trainer like you. Bro, his name is literally Rocky. I respect a man of his word actually using a level 61 rag and roller. Yeah. While this guy runs off to go get sturdy, I make my way through the cave. There are a couple trainers in here, but nothing that is difficult. Stupid ass Crustle. That cave wasn't very long. This whole route is just navigating between narrow paths and you're kind of forced to fight most, if not all of the trainers here. However, uh, yeah, I'm not really intimidated by a trainer with a level 64 print plop. Oh shit, my bad. The Whalmer though, that's threatening. Anywho. Uh they're right behind me, aren't they? I am actually overdue for beating up some children. Oh yeah, and apparently this fight is a 6v8 and not a 6v6. A seed flare from Shaman onto the Mr. Mime is gonna take him down to red, and a leaf storm from my superior is going to murder the Cladle. Dude, you deserve to die here. What is even happening? Oh, Trick Room. Awesome. I swap out Superior to save him for later, and Basculin is able to tank the Ice Beam. Dazzling Gleam from Mr. Mime will do a good amount to my guys, but not enough to take them out. This leaves Shaman unchecked to take out the Mr. Mime. Aqua Jet from Basculin will take out the Cladle. However, a Rock Gem boosted Power Gem is going to kill Basculin. Shaman gives the Lunatone some Sucky Sucky and kills him in one hit. Executor Giga drains my Electivire for a little damage, and the Soul Rock hits my Shaman with a Flare Blitz. Close combat from Electivire and Hidden Power from Shaman is not going to be enough to take these two out, so... At least after that turn, the Trick Room ended. Leaf Storm from Superior is going to take out the Soul Rock and give me a plus two boost to my special attack, and an Overheat from my Rattom is going to murder the Executor. A plus two Leaf Storm is going to be enough to take out the Metacham, but Superior is going to die from a Draining Kiss. If I was smart enough to use my White Herbs, this Overheat would have killed the Jinx, however, it doesn't because I'm still minus two. Jinx dies to a quick Sucker Punch, but I am lazy and I just press Overheat on Rattom. That's the kind of damage I'm talking about. A Mystical Fire, however, is going to take out my Bisharp, so this comes down to a 1v1. You all must think I'm pretty stupid for leaving my minus six Rattom in in a 1v1. However, I actually accounted for this in my strat. I planned on hitting the critical hit with this Shadow Ball. So who's really the idiot here, huh? Honestly, I'd say that was worth it because the TM for Protect, yeah, you never know when that'll be handy. Curiosity is getting the best of me, and I just want to see what's going on in this aquarium. Gotta say, I was not expecting to see these 3D models of Basculin, but I mean, this is kind of a vibe. Kill me! Gym time already? What seems to be the issue here, Clyde? Oh, he's just going for a swim? Yay, I love hunting down gym leaders. Hopefully it's not going to be a pain in the ass to find... Oh, never mind. Oh, this is the gym leader that's white, but he looks black because he's out swimming in the ocean all day and he's really tan. Like, I get it, but it's just weird looking. It's gym time. Mr. Weed, clear the path. 
Similar to how Clay's gym had permanent sandstorm, Marlin's has permanent rain. Okay, calm down, white boy. Both Ludicolo and Polyrath have Swift Swim, so a fake out on the Ludicolo is going to avoid his attack, but Lopunny, you have to die to a close combat. Never mind, that's why you're my thick goat. This was all necessary because I wanted to spore the Polyrath. Lopunny living on 1 HP forces the Ludicolo to take it out the next turn with a Focus Blast. Mr. Weed returns fire with a power up punch, and oh my god, this move with Technician should not be allowed. Polyrath stays asleep. You know what that means. Mr. Weed cleans up the Polyrath with a cut. Both of my mons are going to get outsped here, so Berloom dies to a hurricane and Basculin dies to a thunder. Unless... Sadly, that's not enough to kill. However, Basculin gets to go out doing what he loves. Due to current events, I'm going to avoid making a hurricane joke, but Shaman is going to survive and retaliate against the Kingdra with a Seed Flare, and a Leaf Storm from Superior is going to be more than enough to take out the Starmie. A second hurricane has hit the Superior. Superior survives, but not without getting confused. Leech life coming out from Kabutops onto my Shaman is scary, but we pull through. Shaman also retaliates with a Giga Drain, which is going to bring the Kabutops down to one. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, thank you. Superior going down to a hurricane is no big deal. We got Shaman here to hit him with a hidden power ice. Perish. Yeah, this one looks like a perfect fit. Oh, hey, Steven, here to congratulate me for winning the gym battle. You're looking the wrong way, bro. Marlin, how did you get over there? Dude, you were just in the gym. Now that I have the last gym badge, I'm going to continue north to Route 22 past Humalau City. Oh, that's a big boy. Please don't be him. Please don't be him. Please don't be him. Oh, oh he just phased through the woman. You must teach me this sorcery. Or just give me whatever the hell this is. <laughs> just called the coal rest machine. All right, well, I guess I'll see you later later, Colress. Uh, but bro, you do not have consent. Get out of her right now. That guy still sucks. Hey, guru. Look, Taraki and I don't have the patience for this. Either you survive the hits or you don't. This shouldn't kill. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Theoretically, he does not die to this, right? Ah, uh, well, wow. That was really unfortunate. Like if I had a list of the top 10 most unfortunate things, that would probably be like number three. Well, the cold rest machine will allow me to move this crustle. And by crustle, let's just say I'm about to crustle a nut. How the hell are we supposed to get on the ship? A heavy gangplank fell with a solid thud. Wow. Thanks, Marlin. Okay. Bye. Anyways, I'm gonna come plasma. What's up, squad? That's so true, dude. There are intruders. I guess I'll just follow your dumbass. Well, looks like it's time to battle. Steven, that is not a cool catchphrase. <laughs> Me when I'm super annoyed. So now I gotta go try and figure out what the stupid password is. Yeah, this guy really snoozing. So we're like five minutes into infiltrating the ship and all it takes is for one plasma member to say, wait, no, I'm a spy, please believe me. And Steven's like, ah, shit, you got a good point. Well, the next step is just to walk into their bedrooms and beat them where they stand. Gotta clear this room, avoid the double battle, nothing. Okay, wait, this isn't a battle? Even if I win a battle, I won't. Pause. Ugh, I need to lay down. You know, there's an alarm system going off on the ship, but no one really seems to care. Though I did beat this random ass grunt in a battle and he gave me a key card. Hold on, I gotta hack the mainframe. All right, we're in. What are your plans, you fiend? Oh, it's the legendary Pokemon of Ice. Cure him. Oh, and Steven was here too. What are the odds this fight is difficult? Mmm, yummy intimidate. I start off the fight with a dragon dance because why not? Quillfish sets up hail, Walrein fails an encore, and Steven's Electros goes for a wild charge. A quick dragon claw is gonna finish off the Quillfish. Walrein retaliates with a blizzard. Steven's Electros is gonna live on low HP and retaliate with a wild charge. Okay, Steven, I don't care that you're on my team. That's still cheating. See, this is what we get for you cheating, bro. Because you used a Hyper Potion, I died to an Accelerock. Like, it's your fault. Here he comes. Batter up. Ooh, and the Giga Drain from Electros is gonna murder the Golem. 
It's funny because the Weavile thinks knocking me off and taking my life orb away is gonna save him. Meanwhile, Steven just fists the Carnivine. Oh, but Carnivine retaliates with the Power Whip and Nene! Drifflim smacks us with his shadowy balls. Shaboink! Ow, oof, oof, ow, a Power Whip, ow. And yeah, Flygon's just gonna finish off the Carnivine. Are you the one who stole that one random purloin in Aspersia City five years Steven, ago? Steven, really? Now? All right, Steven, they may have gotten away. Honestly, I would go as far as to say that that would probably be like maybe number six on the list. Well, now we gotta go penetrate that grandma's old wrinkly hole. But first though, I'm gonna make sure I can move this strength rock so I have easy access to a Pokemon Center and I find some stuff like this TM for Dazzling Gleam. Though I did stumble across this hidden grotto and I decide to catch a few more team members. First is this Togepi because I've been lacking a dedicated fairy type. You may like your eggs scrambled, I prefer mine fertilized. And then of course I get the opportunity to bring back one of the goats. It's time to finish off Team Plasma once and for all. Ah, I made it to the annual loser convention. Oh shit, they didn't like that I said that. Wow, Alt sure seems like he's in trouble, but let's use this opportunity to take a word from our sponsor. Today's ship post is sponsored by Femboy Hooters. Use code ALT at checkout for a discount on a 20 piece nugget and a glass of man milk. Make sure to get this limited time offer now at your local Femboy Hooters. <laughs> Back to the video. After dealing with the pirates, there was only one more thing I had to do. Some people call this guy gross, I call him stinky. And we pack on the ship. Steven is is brave enough to tell me to go on ahead, but I need to prioritize looking for his stupid cat. After penetrating the bowels of this ship, I encounter once again the Team Plasma spy. Uh, he pretty much just tells me that I gotta go defeat Team Plasma, like, Okay, all I gotta do is just kind of make my way through this like pipe button maze and there's four triggers that I have to hit to be able to get to the next area. It's kind of convenient though because I'm not really forced to fight any of these trainers, I can really just kind of avoid them. Boink, bonk, boom, ah. Oh my god, it's Kirim. I really hope I don't have to fight the purple guy for the fifth time in the past like 30 minutes. Son of a bitch! I start by faking out the Vanillux so it can't get a move off, however, Cryogonal is gonna get a Blizzard. Kingdra is going to hit back with a Scald. The next turn I power up punch into the Vanillux, but in this game, it's apparently not just a pure ice type. This is gonna have some consequences as I get hit with another Blizzard, but I'm able to take out the Cryogonal with a Scald. Dazzle and Gleam, however, from the Vanillux is gonna kill both of my Mons. Charizard, like a fucking idiot, misses the Flare Blitz, which allows the Frostlass to get off an Ice Gem boosted Blizzard. It is incredible that both of my Mons managed to survive. This allows Togekiss to attack the Vanillux with a Flamethrower. Charizard decides to actually hit his Flare Blitz this turn and takes out the Frostlass. However, the recoil is too much for him. Togekiss is on one HP, but is gonna get off one more Moon Blast before dying to either the Wall Rain or the Hail. My poor baby. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight or don't bring grass ground types to an ice fight. I don't know, something like that. Seed Flare from Shaman will take out the wall ring, but now we got a tank and icicle crash. Good job. It is incredibly insulting that a wood hammer from my Torterra is going to not kill the Mammoth Swine, but instead leave him on one HP. Down goes Torterra. But that Dazzling Gleam TM that I picked up earlier is going to come in clutch to knock out the Mamoswine and bring the Weavile down to half. He has to miss or fuck up. Okay. Yeah, wasn't even worried. Stupid ass old man. Oh, uh, beaten again for like the seventh time? Okay. Oh my god. I am going to co-rest you. Kingdra is able to take down the Behiyem quite easily with a Scald and a Surf, but out comes the Porygon. I want to save Kingdra just in case, so Metagross is going to take it from here. Hyper Beam from the Porygon Z is going to do even a good amount of damage to Metagross even though he resists it. I power up Punch to raise my attack because this turn the Porygon Z has to recharge, but I don't really have a priority move, nor do I outspeed, so womp womp. This time a power up Punch from the Infernape will take him out. 
I can't handle Rotom Wash with Infernape, so I swap in Shaman to tank the Hydro Pump and retaliate with a Seed Flare. Uh, he has a Focus Sash. Uh, never mind. He's just gonna Willow us me. Hidden Power. Because Magnezone has an air balloon, I have to pop it with the highest damaging move that I have, which is Seed Flare. The Magnezone has Bug Buzz, though? Hell yeah, Shaman. Hell yeah. Goodbye. It's too bad that Shaman died from burn. I go for a Flare Blitz on the Metagross, however, this is holding an Aka Berry, so it's not gonna kill. Instead of killing me, the Metagross sets up a Shift Gear. Metagross outspeeds me, but whiffs the Zen Headbutt like a fucking bozo. Really? This is the last thing you have? Now, perish. I never want to see you again. So what's on this side? Oh god. First I fight purple, and now I have to fight green? Blah 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 blah. I hate Pokemon. I am evil. Blah 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 blah. You scum! You'll never walk out of here alive. Wait, stop. No, come back. No, no. Ah, Steven, you're here. Now we can work together to defeat the Shadow Triad. Oh, never mind. We're fucked. All right, I guess I'll defeat the ninjas. Wow, what a tough fight. Glad that's the only one. Man. Okay, can we just call a quick timeout so I can go heal my guys? Mm -hmm. Yup. Okay, cool. Thanks. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm back. Buddy pulls up with the literal worst triple battle spread I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. All right, scram, skedaddle. Time to chase down the funny green man. Come here. Ah, I finally caught you. Ah, you finally caught me, the bad guy. Uh, look at this cool Pokemon I have. You want to see a cool magic trick? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, look at look at this. He can make floating ice cubes. Whoa, dude, that is cool. Whoa, dude, this is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun with you. Rushy Ram, Fusion Flare. Uh, all right, that's it. Who is making me spontaneously combust? Is that everyone's favorite character, N-Word? You can't say his name, Getsis. You don't have the pass. Oh my God, get back. He has the mysterious floating sucky sucky orb thing. Bro, run, don't just stand there. Ah, uh, too late. He got sucked. Uh... Your little fucking nuts are gonna start quaking, buddy. There's only one thing left to do. Oh yeah, cure him. All right, let's finish him off for a second time. If you're just gonna Esper Wing, bro, I'm gonna murder you. Hit him with a moon blast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, according to my calculations, if you use Esper Wing again, you lose. Okay. I busted a nut in your legendary and I thwarted your plans. What are you gonna do about it? Oh no, no, he's gonna battle me. I set up a nasty plot in front of Kofagrigus' face while he sets up a trick room. The next turn, he hits me with a hex, but Mama didn't raise a bitch because I'm just going to nasty plot again. He decides that his best move is to willow us me, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to moon blast you into oblivion. Because of trick room, the Machamp outspeeds me and is able to take out my Togekiss with a stone edge. Psych! We live! Get the fuck out of here! Okay, Togekiss, now you have permission to die. Because we both had to swap in at the same time, I didn't really choose the best option, so I swap out my Rotom into a Kingdra who can just tank the Aqua Tail. Trick Room wears out, and now I outspeed and hit him with a Scald. The Electros goes for a Coil, so piss on him. My Dragon outspeeds and kills me, and I really didn't want to swap anything into it, so goodbye, Kingdra. One quick fisting session later, and High Dragon goes down. Without realizing that the Gyarados is going to waterfall my Infernape, I just swap over to my Rattam. However, let me remind you, the audience, that Home Depot does not fuck around. Shkaboosh! Genesect tries to finish off my Rattam with a Bug Buzz. Oh, that was cute. Kind of unfortunate, though, because Genesect does have a Focus Sash. Womp womp. Yeah, this'll just take a sec. Up, 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 up. Ah, now your evil plans have been foiled. Thank God the Shadow Triad is here because they're now on our side and they banish Getsis to the Shadow Realm. I'm not gonna lie, and you really didn't even do anything. I was kind of having a good time with Getsis and the Ice Cubes. Oh, hey, Steven, don't worry. I did all of the work as usual.
All right, man. So, uh, which one of the two are you right now? I'm, I'm not sure what you're talking about, man. Look, I, uh, I watched you get your, uh, that gym badge back there in Aspersia City. And I happened to notice that when you cut the cameras, you put the gym badge up your ass. Uh, yeah. So like, what's the problem with that? Well, if you happen to put all eight gym badges up your ass, you would unleash the evil wizard sorcerer Charles into the world. Is that a bad thing? That depends, but regardless, uh, you have another man living inside of your ass right now. But uh, sorry, me and the boys decided that it's probably easier if we just kill you. <laughs> Shit, I mean, fair enough. Actually, you know what? I just got a text from one of the guys and we changed our minds. It'd actually probably be cooler if we just watched you put all eight badges up your ass and we saw what happened. Hey, I'm down, bro. That sounds like a good time. Time. All right, sounds good, bro. Um, few more things though. First, before I let you get out of here, I'm gonna need you to do one or two things for me. What you need, you see this money that I put on the table in front of you? I'm gonna need you to pick one of the piles, spank it, and call it a good boy. All right, I choose this one. Good boy. All right, that's good enough for me. You can leave. Can I? Keep this money. Yeah, I don't fucking care. Get out of here. You guys know what time it is. Before I can actually get to Victory Road, I first have to get through Route 23. This route serves more as just an appetizer of what's to come. Speaking of come, Ah, uh, you came. Me and your mom when she... The final test to access Victory Road is I gotta go through eight metal detectors to confirm that I have safely put each gym badge up my rectum. You know, there really is an honor system with verifying your badges. Like, what's stopping me from just fucking walking around this door? Like, this door really doesn't accomplish shit. Oh, game time. I will say, I do like the aesthetic of this Victory Road. There's a bunch of different areas. You go through these ruins first, and then you make your way through this little tiny shaded forest area before you head into the mountains. In the mountains, I decided to catch a Skarmory because you know, I thought it might be good. That's right, baby, we brought in the goat. Uh-oh. And thus, the true test of Victory Road has revealed itself. What is the test? Yeah, uh, so there's four trainers, each of which specializes in their own type of weather. So there's a sun, a rain, a sand, and a hail fight. First is the Hail Trainer, and Charizard is going to start off strong by just one-shotting the Obama Snow with a Flare Blitz. Believe it or not, guys, the Ice-type Pokemon is going to die from a Flare Blitz. That's not a nice Pokemon. Charizard once again just goes for a Flare Blitz, but because the thing is not an actual Ice-type, he does not kill. At least Charizard gets to die by his own hand rather than from the Reuniclus. All right, let's wrap this up, Bisharp. That was tough. All right, next. This guy is the Sun Trainer. He leads with a Torkoal, but I have to stay leading with my Charizard. My assumption is that the Torkoal can't touch me, so I'm just gonna keep spamming Dragon Dance. This goes on for a while with the Torkoal only using Lava Plume. However, at some point, he just decides he's tired of it and puts me to sleep with a yawn. All it took was for my Charizard to get brought all the way down to 10 HP before he finally decided to wake his stupid ass up. Call my Charizard Anakin Skywalker because this is where the fun begins. Why is this thing a fairy type? What the fuck? I don't think it matters. At this point, Charizard already did way too much damage. Fake out the Ninetales, but apparently it has an eject button. While the sun is up and Victory Bell is quite terrifying, my Lopunny can tank a single solar beam and retaliate with a strength. Swapping the Bisharp to eat up a solar beam and hit him with a quick one, two. Ninetales comes back in, and I don't want to swap anything into a sun boosted fire move, so I'm just going to let Bisharp die. It's okay though, because Bunny's here and we outspeed. A strength will do a good chunk of health to the Volcarona, but I do get procced by the flame body. Not that it matters because I'm dead to a fiery dance regardless. It was never a fair fight in the end because I still have my Shaman. Now there are two more trainers that I have to fight, the Sand and the Rain trainers respectively, and I did make sure to go back and swap my team arounds just a little bit. It wouldn't be a Rain team without a Pelipper lead, right? Classic. I got nothing to outspeed or swap into this Electrode, so I'm sorry, Basculin. 
But I do have a sexy bunny. Clap, tank an aura sphere, finish him with a string. Imagine having Politoed and Pelipper on the same team. <laughs> Dog shit. Ah, shit, he didn't like that I said that. Big Papa ain't afraid of no water. Little bitch. Whenever you see a mud boy, you know who to call. Ow, oof, oof, ow, earthquake, ouchie. Goodbye. That Rendo ain't gonna save you, bro. A Swift Swim Kingdra in the rain is no joke. However, Kingdra, have you considered eating shit? Uh-huh, yup, yup, keep going, perfect. Okay, yeah, Togekiss, straight up, you're not killing this thing. That's okay, though. That's exactly why we have Charizard. All right, next. The thing about weather setters is that nine out of 10 times they're trash. This thing is not surviving a wave crash. God damn it, unless it has a berry. While an earthquake is not gonna kill me, I did hope to get more value out of Baskill in this fight. However, it looks like he's only gonna be taking down the Hippowdon. Low Punny is my safe swap, but not for a Garchomp. Let me just bring you out. And now the Garchomp can't touch me, except for a few flamethrowers. A Choppleberry on the Tyranitar is not gonna allow my Aura Sphere to kill, so Togekiss, unless... Well, that was mighty convenient. All right, I'll take what I can get. An Earth Power on the Nido King is going to do significant damage, but not significant enough to kill. You live a sludge wave, right, Shaman? And that's why you're my go. Boom, bam, bop. Well, Excadrill has Sand Rush, so I can't outspeed it. However, the Excadrill outspeeding me does not stop the AI from being fucking stupid. All I can really do is cut it. The game is just teasing me, man. Doesn't really matter, because nothing a quick fake out strength combo can't finish. All right, well, just one more loser I got to punish. Aerodactyl on the lead. There's only one man for the job. Hey, wait, that's my thing. We surprisingly survive and get off a waterfall. Of course, Lance would be a little bitch and put a focus sash on his Aerodactyl. Sorry, Basculin. You already know what move I'm gonna click. Get clapped. I outspeed the Haxorus, so I hit it with a strength, but I didn't know that it's holding a red card. My Charizard is forced to come in while the Haxorus sets up a Dragon Dance. I can't swap anything into this, so uh, goodbye Charizard. But this is exactly why we have a Fairy type. The Haxorus is foolish enough to Dragon Dance once again, which leaves him perfectly vulnerable to a Moonblast. Even with the Charizard, he's just gonna keep trying to set up a Dragon Dance. Because Charizard is fire type, a Moonblast is not gonna be super effective, so I'm not expecting a kill. An Iron Tail on the next turn is a little worrying. But not for me though, I had faith the entire way through. Togekiss outspeeds the Gyarados, so I decide to get one more Moonblast off before passing away. Looks like a job for the bunny. You know the deal. Fake out, strength, get out of here. Lopunny ain't a bitch, so we're just gonna hit the Salamence with a strength. Foolishly, the Salamence locks itself into Outrage, which does not kill my bunny. Perish. Despite getting some attack boosts, the strength is not gonna take out the Dragonite because of multi-scale, which it should go without saying that my Lopunny is not gonna live this turn. I'll show you who is gonna live though. Hidden power. God damn it. Okay, maybe he can live too. But if there's one thing that I know about my Goat Shaman is that they never crumble under pressure. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Hidden power. I beat Lance's ass so bad that he decides to give me the items to summon Lugia and ho -Oh, but I still need Sacred Ash or something. I don't know. Well, that's it for Victory Road. Steven, I swear to fucking God. Because yes, Steven's fight is going to be a lot harder than the gauntlet of five trainers that I just fought. But hey, we made it to the league. While I'm sure you guys can guess which mons are going to be my Elite Four team, I can guarantee you that there's going to be at least one or two that you aren't expecting. That's enough chit chat. Let's get at it. I do enjoy the format of the Elite Four where I can kind of choose which members I fight and I don't have to fight, you know, a specific order. I think Grimsley will be the easiest. Oh, what is this? 
Oh my god, it's so spooky. Well, 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 my favorite gambler. I'm gonna eat your ass. Grimsley is a single battle, so it should be no surprise to anybody watching that we're gonna whip out the king. Because we start off intimidated, I decide there's no better move than to put the crocodile to sleep. All right, time to sweep. Okay, why are you waking up turn one, man? Mr. Weed, we don't put up with that, right? Okay, good. Next. Next. Wow, you fooled me. Next. All right, can you not wake up immediately? Dude! <gasps> Bright powder, baby! Fuck you! <laughs> Next! Like, come on. Last but not least. Are you fuck- Of course I get robbed of the Mr. Weed sweep just by a single focus sash. And you have the audacity to protect against my fake out? Looks like I'm bringing him out early. Time to clock in. Pseudo Wudo's the goat. He's just gonna eat this shit for breakfast, bitch. So that fight was great and all, Grimsley. You never really explains why you just have the casting couch in your little challenge room. So, uh, you come here often? <laughs> okay, let's get the ghost out of the way. Whoa, dude, this is a scary room for a ghost trainer. Oh my God, books, I'm terrified of literature. Oh yeah, aren't you the one that's obsessed with Charles? I'll tell him you said hi. <laughs> Nothing super special for Chantal, except this is a triple battle. Let's get to work. Turn one, the Sableye decides to trick a lagging tail onto my Lapras, but I'm gonna have Shaman go for a hidden power on Gengar just to chip away at his health a little bit. Meanwhile, Mr. Weed is going to put the Miss Magius to sleep. Gengar, however, is unchecked and is able to take out my Berloom with a single sludge bomb. Goobus ain't gonna let that slide though, so he's gonna rip a surf. Chantal will swap out Sableye for Jellicent, but that's not gonna change the fact that Gengar is dead to a sucker punch. I had Shaman go for a Dazzling Gleam, which is only gonna just tickle the Jellicent. But a Thunderbolt from Goobus into the Sableye slot is actually gonna hit the Jellicent, though it does have leftovers and I don't get the paralysis. A Seed Flare from Shaman is going to immediately send the Jellicent to the emergency room, and Chandelure decides it wants to energy ball my Pseudo Wudo. Don't sleep on Pseudo Wudo. This man is gonna put in work. Yeah, get him, Goobus. All Pseudo Wudo can do is sucker punch the Sableye, and Shaman goes for a Seed Flare on the Golurk, who sadly has a berry to resist the grass move. Miss Magius wakes up and takes out my Pseudo Wudo with a Shadow Ball, an Ice Punch from Golurk into my Shaman, and a Shadow Claw from Sableye into my Lapras are gonna do just a little bit of damage. But speaking of damage, here comes Goobus doing some massive damage with the Surf, which is gonna start edging all of the other Pokemon. Wait, no, I don't <laughs> I don't have Scrappy. <laughs> Lopunny does fucking nothing, but a Dazzling Gleam from Shaman is gonna take out both the Golurk and the Sableye. Goobus. Yeah, okay. Let's go do fighting next. Uh, I mean, alright, at least that one was practical. Wait, who's this Elite Four member? Oh my god. It's him. All right, no more fucking around. Lopunny outspeeds the Hitmontop so I can fake out first, and Mr. Weed just puts the Infernape to sleep. Power up punch to raise my attack, and then it's also bedtime for the Hitmontop. Of course, Infernape wakes up though, and hits only my Breloom with a heat wave. Looks like Flygon is making his debut on the third Elite Four member. Your eyes don't deceive you. Yes, Flygon gets Quiver Dance. Lopunny's gonna go for a Strength to try and take out the Infernape, but is going to fall short. This gives the Infernape another chance to go for a Heat Wave, which is gonna do some good damage to both of my guys. Poor Hitmontop doesn't even know what hit him. 
and a power-up punch will take out the ape. Earth Power from Flygon is going to do more than enough to take out the Toxic Rogue, but I do get a little greedy going for a power-up punch since it's just not going to take out the Lucario. After thinking about it for a while, I decided that a Sucker Punch surely takes out the Lucario, and I set up another Quiver Dance with Flygon since I don't think that Conkeldor can do anything about it. Ah, shit, he's doing something about it. But it's not enough. Who's this fraud? Sadly, Conkeldor does have Mach Punch. Well, Pseudo Ludo, it's the thought that counts. Oh no, Berloom hit me with a Rock Tomb. Ah. Dazzling Gleam is going to do a great chunk of damage to the Conkeldor and take out the Berloom. Too bad he's just going to regain all that HP from my Pseudo Wudo. Now the party's getting started. A Seed Flare from Shaman is just going to kill the Conkeldor. Goobus was just here for moral support. Such a stupid bit. <laughs> oh, this shit magical. So we're just not going to talk about the giant floating flower or... Okay, that was pretty cringe. It's me who appeared when the flower opened up. Is this bitch stupid? Oh, never mind. She's just EP. I go for a quiver dance on my Flygon because I'm not too worried about him taking any attacks this turn. Meanwhile, Mr. Weed is simply here just to put this Musharna to sleep. I'm sorry, little one. Flygon's just gonna rip a Bug Buzz into the Musharna, and even though Musharna now has a Fairy Typing, it's still able to kill. And a Seed Flare from Shaman is going to wipe the Slowbro off the face of this planet. <laughs> Another Bug Buzz, another victim. And yet another Hidden Power Ice from our savior. How dare you hit my Shaman with an Air Slash, you fiend! Gallade is publicly executed by my Flygon, and Shaman cleans up the rest. Because Metagross has an Air Balloon, Flygon is going to outspeed and hit it with a Bug Buzz, but it doesn't kill. However, the Air Balloon is now popped, so Shaman can finish him off with an Earth Power. Heading to my super secret villain lair. Now, I know this is the champion fight and, you know, the, the environment, the setting, it's got to be cool and fancy and everything. But why are you going to make me climb so many fucking stairs? Oh, let's go. We made it. Ah, oh, shit. Just got to be sure. Just got to check the sides. It's a pretty cool room to have a champion fight. Ah, the lights are on, baby. Ref, I'm going to need an official ruling on this. The, the, I don't think this is fair grounds for a fight. I, I, there's no way for me to access a platform to give pre-battle back shots. Iris thinks she's slick leading with a superior, but we know what that can do, so I'm not going to let that happen. I'm just going to revoke superior's life privileges. However, the fun doesn't last for Flygon because here comes Togekiss. Hey, put me in, coach. Togekiss has the audacity to paralyze my pseudo Wudo and even hit me with an Aura Sphere on the next turn. Well, sadly, there will be no bonks during this champion fight. I gotta let Iris know that Goobus ain't here to fuck around. Togekiss once again goes for a Thunder Wave, but I'm still able to get off the Ice Beam. The next turn, Togekiss hits my Lepras with an Aura Sphere. However, Iris is unaware that Goobus is simply built different. I decide my best bet is to stay in, but the Alakazam goes for a Nasty Plot. Goobus just simply ignores being paralyzed and hits the Alakazam with a Surf. Rest easy, my child. Surely Lopunny's just gonna outspeed the Alakazam, but this thing has inner focus, so I skip the fake out and go right for a strength. Finally, a worthy opponent for Lopunny. Latios is cringe and goes for an Esper Wing. Hold! 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 Yes! At least Lopunny's gonna get a strength off before they pass away. F. 
Shaman, being the absolute speed demon that they are, can just outspeed Latios and kill with the Hidden Power Ice. An Earth Power from Shaman into Empoleon should do a lot, however it is holding a Shucka Berry. Empoleon doesn't attack, rather it goes for an agility. Now that Empoleon's faster, it gets to hit me with an Ice Beam, but we're chillin' and we can retaliate with an Earth Power. Life would be so much simpler if that Earth Power killed him. Alright, just don't die to the Ice Beam, please? Alright, we're chillin'. Perish. Because the Dragonite has multi-scale, a Hidden Power Ice is not going to be enough to take him out. It's okay though, Shaman, you did your job. Let's finish this. But first you take a nap. Me, 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 me. Mr. Weed, no, stop, no, stop, they're already dead. Bro, stop bullying them, please, no, they're already gone. Well, I guess that's one way to end the battle. Iris was so impressed with my ability to beat her so easily in a Pokemon battle that she unlocks the magical butthole wall and asks me to enter the hole. All right, Iris, let me see them. Let me see my beautiful team and all of their glory. Bro, I can't believe they didn't even give me like a full team shot. Like I didn't get, even get like a picture of all six of the guys that I won with. Is there anything funny in the credits? My favorite character, Marlin, who was here for like five minutes. Oh, and this guy. Mm, fuck you. Okay, dude, is that it? Oh my God, Berg, get down. What a way to end the series. I can't believe they just killed Berg like that. On a more serious note though, thank you to whoever watched this video all the way through or anybody who's been watching the parts to the series that I put out beforehand. Uh, this takes a lot of time and effort for me to do, but I enjoy every second of it because not only am I making myself laugh, but I'm making people around the world laugh. And I, I think that's a pretty cool thing, you know? I do have a Discord with a lot of people in it, and I love to interact and talk with you guys, and I do plan on having some streams or even hosting some events in the future, so hop on in. But all that aside, thank you for your support, and I will see you with whatever I decide to do in the future. Goobus.